Unidos a la Universidad. Candidates to the presidency of Peru have used the proliferation of four profit universities to finance their political campaigns and promote their image. Cesar Acuña, for instance, is the owner of one of these universities, and even though his is not recognized as a valued institution, he presents education as one of the pillars of his campaign. With this announcement, we are saying that we are going to build a new country, because investing in education is building a new country. Many students recognize the difficulty to find good jobs when finishing a degree at one of the institutions of low prestige, such as Cesar Acuñas. The bad thing is that when looking for a job, they don't accept you. No, they say. The great majority of graduates are struggling because of that, trying to get a job without much experience and coming from a university that is not recognized. Mostly, there aren't jobs from what you are studying. Like I say, only about 10% of all students find a job. Jorge Mori, the director of an NGO that investigates the situation of higher education in the country, agrees that there exists a vicious cycle within the business of education and the politics of privatization. A natural path for the people involved in the private university business is politics because they need to defend their investments. And what we're seeing right now is that the main candidates in Peru are defending the university businesses against quality and the future of the youth in Peru. Mori also notes that those candidates that have the coffers of a university at their disposition have an unfair advantage for the elections that are taking place in April of this year. Rael Mora, Telesur, Peru.